I tell you how I feel. A pirate city trail. I'm Hello, ladies and gents, and welcome to Urban CG TV. Uh, we're going to get right into it. Today is about an enemy spawner. Um, I'll show you a little bit of what we're going to be working on. That game should be coming out uh, sometime in the next year. Like I said, I just got the file sent to me uh, last week. So that's what I've been doing most of my holiday. All right, anyway, I have a, uh, a enemy spawner already created. And uh, what I am, I'm making a duplicate because I have over five different zombies. And I want each of them to have, you know, their own separate spawn. And it's going to be kind of, you know, a lot of the other tutorials, it shows... Uh, it kind of, you know, they only show cubes and blocks, but they ain't really, like, discussed the more technical terms And when you have a character that's fully fleshed out, fully uh, rigged. You know, there's other things going into that for it to, you know, spawn completely. And right now we have, a, a you see, we made a message to the spawner letting him know when and the, the message is enemy death. Letting you know when the enemy dies for it to respawn another enemy. To do that, though. I had added three edit objects and the zombie for one for the zombie the mesh one for the zombie rig and another for the zombies control block how it controls when he's uh, when he's walking because he's on a when they spawn they're gonna automatically track to the player all right and it was a lot, it's real difficult to do at first because, you know, there was no tutorials out there for it. You know, it was only for the block spawners and stuff. But I figured out, you know, I kind of figured out an easier way to doing it, you know, as far as live characters, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, with this particular spawner, I added, I'm going to add two players or two characters to that one spawner. You know, um, instead of having like a random config, which it could have been easier to do if I coded it. But I know a lot of guys, you know, logic bricks seem, you know, more, more easier, more fleshed out than anything. All right. I've added the first zombie into the spawn. Well, now I got to go back and uh, change my character. For some reason, every time I... Cause I, my character is on a different layer. I basically have a, everything on, you know, different layers. But uh, he shrunk back to normal size. Let me fix that real quick. Looking for his block. There we go. I forgot I had hid the block. You hide the block by pressing the H button and you unhide it by pressing Alt H. Now I'm going to scale him back to his regular size. I don't want him too, I don't want him, you know, too much taller than the zombies, but, you know, average height, maybe six feet, six, six feet one. Or six feet two. I'm six feet two, you know. All right, now uh, you see I already have my camera. I have it like in a kind of a third-person camera. I was thinking about going with a top-down form, but I had to talk it over with my uh, with my partners at UE Games, and uh, I think they're gonna like the, the third-person camera a lot better. See, right now I'm not in third-person. This is just a wide view, but I'm gonna test it out. All right, that looks pretty good. See, now the zombie, he came out, but he's still in like an idle formation. So what I got to do now, I have to hook my always sensor up to the tracking. Everything I have, the tracking, the state, and the, the motion sensors for the zombie, I have it hooked up to a near modifier. But I don't need an, uh, a near sensor right now. Not for the respawning. Once they respawn, I want them to automatically attract the, uh, you know, they they're gonna go to the main character. 
So what I do, I'm, I hooked up the always sensor up to the tracking state and motion. Let's see how that works out. <laughs> A lot of damn zombies. All right, now we're gonna test it out with some of the textures I've applied on. See how it looks. And that's a wrap. And y'all guys, be sure to stay tuned for more updates on the game resurgence, and as well as uh, as well as if you guys want to see some more tutorials, um, shoot me a link or something and let me know. I'll be glad to do it for you.